I have just had the most bizarre encounter, I gotta tell you about it. So I'm sat in my car, minding my own business, down at Carrick Fergus Marina with my daughter, we're having our lunch. And I get a, a knock at the window, like this, from somebody clearly from the group that I'll call the slightly aged, male, self-entitled, self-righteous, pompous, up your own backside, professional offence taking community. That's who I think this person belongs to. Says, uh, can you turn your engine off please? I thought this is a very bizarre request. You know, is this a policeman? And I said, well, yeah, but I'm leaving now. Why? He says, can't hear myself think. This guy sitting in the car next to me says, I'm trying to have a conversation with my wife. Can't hear her over the top of your engine. I'm dumbfounded because I think, is this a joke? Who is this man speaking to? So he danders off around the back of the car. So this clown goes to get back into his car again. And I'm thinking, I'm not letting him away with that. That's, that was rude and uncalled for. So I put the window down and I said, you know what it is? I'm charging my phone. Uh, I'm listening to the radio. And I said, I've also got my air conditioning on um, today because it's quite muggy out there. So I'm not going to be turning my engine off, just so you know. Well, he says to me, well, I'm doing okay without my air conditioning on. And I said, sir, you're a hero. You are a hero. Well done, you. So he just got into his car, snarled at me, um, and uh, then we proceed to go in for the next 10 minutes on some of the, one of the most bizarre standoffs I've ever been in in my life. When I'm not turning off my engine, he's not winding up his window and bogging off, and I'm thinking, who's going to blink first here? Odd, really odd. Uh, he blinks first and then drives off, <laughs> and I drive out behind him. So I think moral of the story has to be when your 17 year old daughter turns around and says, Daddy, what was up with that really rude man? And, and all I can say is, you know what it is, love? Some people have no manners. They've got no class. And you can't instill that in these people, particularly of that age. Very often it's young people that get a rap for this kind of stuff. But actually on my out and about everyday encounters with unpleasant people, it's usually people who let's be honest, should be old enough to know better. And they haven't figured out yet, and they'll never figure out that being kind, being respectful, asking the same question, but only in a more pleasant way, can get different outcomes. For example, people may respond more favorably, doors might open, uh, engines might be switched off, you might be able to go about having a nice little seaside chat with your wife. Wouldn't that be lovely? If only you knew how to speak to people.